In this video, we're going to be using Crown and Crane, Musique Nui, and the Ender's Speed Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. Welcome in, folks. Welcome in. As mentioned before, Today we're going to be using Crown and Crane Music Nui, and this comes to you for $16.95 for 5 ounces, and on our cost chart there, that is a good price of $3.39 per ounce. The scent on this is awesome. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. This is inspired by Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. It is very nice, citrusy, bright. I like it a lot. The scent strength off the tub is slightly under medium, but then when you lather it, it comes alive. It's right around that medium mark, and I really, really like it. Uh, ease of use, very good on this. I had no problems lathering. Now, this is in the Crown & Crane Vegan Formula. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This will be the first time I've used their Vegan Formula, but I have to say it was easy to lather, so we're look forward, looking forward, I should say, uh, to using this today because the scent on it is just fantastic, and Crown & Crane... Uh, the scents I have liked every one that I've gotten so far, probably like 15 or 16 of them. So that is just incredible. We love Crown and Crane here on the channel. The razor for today is the Ender's Speed Razor. And of course, we have the adapter by Ian. Uh, and you can find these adapters on the HCNC website if he has any. Uh, I know he sold a lot of these. And it just holds the blade in there because I have, a, a, um, I have an injector blade in the razor and that adapter holds it in. If you want to see how that works, you can go back and look at my previous video using this razor and I show it and we look forward to using this today as well. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm going to start by misting the face here and remember I will link the products that are available below. As always, lather tutorials and all sorts of good stuff for you. We think we have a good lather here today. The brush is the Yachi. Uh, this is the Aqua brush and let's mix our lather up today and we're using the uh, Cayune Brushworks bowl and I will do that video on the bowls when time permits. It's just, <laughs> it's quite busy right now. But we do have a really nice lather. So this Crown and Crane Vegan formula from the standpoint of how this lather looks, fantastic. But I always say don't worry so much about how it looks, you know, worry about how it functions. But based on how I'm feeling it on my face right now, it's going to be slick, it's going to be nice, and the scent is really good. Crown and Crane they make uh, crowd-pleasing scents, which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned because I don't like to buy soap and mist on scent. Who likes that? You know, it's, you've wasted your money and who can be affording <laughs> to waste money right now? Not many of us, I'm sure. So it's always great when you get a soap and it works well for you. And I tell you, this lather is not bad at all. So the Crown and Crane Vegan, I'm thinking that is very nice indeed, just like their tallow formula. Not bad at all. And definitely I can get more of the scent um, once lathered than uh, in the tub. It's like it's dormant in the tub and then when you lather it, some of those notes really come out and that is nice. So, all right, very nice. I'm impressed. I don't know why I wouldn't be impressed because I have really, really enjoyed Crown and Crane the past, you know, year plus. Um, a gentleman on Instagram put me on to them. He sent me some samples. And then I started buying them. I believe his name was Brian. If I get that wrong, I am sorry. <laughs> There's so much going on. My head's just spinning half the time these days. Work is very busy. Personal life, very busy. Everything's busy. So this is our time right now, though, when we do the shave and we relax. And we're using a razor that I'm using because of Ian, also known as uh, Last Shadow. Um, he made this adapter to hold the blade in this razor because the Ender's... Speed Razor, I believe, was made in the 30s. Um, and it took a proprietary type of blade. And so Ian made this adapter that you see in the back of it to uh, hold that blade in there so you can use an injector. And many other people have made shims and so on for this as well. But I had never tried this razor until he sent me this adapter. So thank you, Ian. You opened up another razor for me and I really appreciate that. Because I didn't want to fool around with trying to shim the blade. And essentially what we are doing here is shimming it. But this adapter has notches and it kind of 
holds the blade in a little easier. You still have to make sure it's lined up and all of that stuff, but it's very nice. It's nice to be able to use this razor. I've always seen them and thought they look super cool, you know, the design. Um, and they're fairly abundant still on eBay and they typically don't cost much. And the reason is because the blades, if you can find the, uh, the proprietary um, vintage blades, they're very expensive and they're hard to come by. So this adapter is really, really nice. Now I know one gent reached out to me because he bought an adapter and the blade was just falling out. And I think what you can consider folks is that some of these razors being old, you know, the, there might be more space in the, the razor mechanism. And so, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he reached out and Ian took care of him. So that's really awesome. So Ian, shout out to you, brother. But this is working amazingly for me. So I'm really enjoying it. And the soap quality, no problems whatsoever. I didn't expect there would be, um, but I didn't know how this formula would measure up with the tallow. And to be honest with you, if I had lathered both of the formulas up side by side, I don't know if I could tell a difference. Um, because... On a quality basis, I'm not detecting any shortcomings at all. And it didn't fluff up when I started to lather it, which can be a characteristic of some vegan soaps, or it used to be, not so much anymore, honestly. It was just nice. That was an excellent <laughs> first pass. So keeping you up to date, we've had a, a few setbacks with my mother. Uh, she's got a little bit of pneumonia and we're just, we're still in the fight, even yesterday. You know, she has pneumonia. She's still walking the hall. She went down and got on the exercise bike for a few minutes. The wheel is there. She's fighting and, and uh, we're of course with her every step of the way. Uh, but you know, we hope she might be able to get out of the hospital at least this past, uh, or this coming weekend, I should say. I'm confused. I don't know what day it is even, even anymore, but that's probably not gonna happen because we've got some stuff to deal with. Her hair is probably starting to fall out. So it's, it's a traumatic experience for a woman, especially. And those of you who have been through this or have had family members who've gone through a stem cell transplant, bone marrow transplant, um, probably can relate. It's very tough, and uh, but she's fighting. She's fighting and it really inspires me to see her fight the way she is and get on an exercise bike. Even though she has pneumonia, she's just had a stem cell transplant. She's getting shots in her stomach every day. I mean, it's... She's been burned, she's been poisoned, she's been stabbed, you know, with the shots, and it's just... It's almost like, honestly, the treatment for leukemia, if you get a stem cell um, transplant, it's almost like you've been a prisoner, prisoner of war. You've been captive, you've been burned, you've been poisoned, you've been cut, you've been stabbed, you've been sleep deprived. It, it's just, uh, it is quite an ordeal, but... She's still very much in the fight and it really inspires me. So um, I have to say I'm, I'm really amazed and, and uh, I couldn't be prouder. So she is definitely made of tough stuff, but boy, let me tell you, it's not easy. So all of us are, you know, it's, it's hard to watch, but um, we just remain hopeful. And so thank you for all your well wishes and kind words. I like to keep everybody up to date on that so you all understand what's going on and why. You know, there's been some changes to sort of make these videos easier for me. And let me tell you, I'm appreciating it. I stopped making the lather photos. That saves me time. I don't have to get the photography light out and, you know, try to take the best shot. That saved me time. Not having to score the, the video or the soaps has saved me time as well. And it's just making it, I'm just enjoying the shaves now, which is really what I set out to do to begin with. But I also like to do things that are helpful and just sort of show people the way as well. So, but I have to admit, making these little changes has made it, um, have, has made the shaves a little more pleasurable and saved me some precious time, which I need. I'm going to just, just uh, do a quick cross pass here. Again, the scent on the soap is terrific. Crown and Crane just makes awesome sense. I'm not going to do a, a long-winded lather here or a long lather. Long-winded. What am I talking about? I'm babbling today. Of course, I babble every day what's new. All right, that's good enough. So the quality on this, very nice. Scent, great, fantastic. I'm completely happy with this soap. It is phenomenal. Crown and Crane does it again. I mean, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> very nice. And the vegan formula here, I would say you are 
um, free to give it a shot. Have no worries about it. Plenty of slickness there. Um, it was not hard to lather whatsoever. So I would give the vegan formula of Crown and Crane a thumbs up. It's very nice indeed. I would have to use the tallow and the vegan side by side to really discern any, you know, small detail and difference, but the way it's feeling for me, they feel very similar and they lathered really easily both. So very nice. Man, what a pleasant shave today. And I could use it, believe me. <laughs> There's so much stress and stuff going on. And, you know, I didn't even mention, of course, my, my wife's, uh, my mother-in-law. She's on dialysis at home all night, every night for 10 hours. Um, every night around the clock. So, man, I tell you what, when I see what these folks are going through, two strong women, it's very inspiring, but I also feel for them too because it's tough. It really is. But, you know, they're tough also. So they're rising to meet the challenge and uh, it's very inspiring. But it's also hard to see. So it's one of those things where it's an emotional roller coaster for everybody involved, I'm sure. But I tell you what, I've seen some strength the like, likes of which I've never, I didn't even know it existed. So I only hope one day I'll be as strong as those women are. So hats off to you. Uh, both those special ladies. All right, let's uh, press on and let's not forget our friend Kim Who's still in the fight with her cancer as well fighting every day? We chatted a little bit over text the other day and she is still Just doing her very best as well. So that's another strong woman who's also inspired me and so uh, I tell you what when I see those things it just it makes me want to redouble my efforts to be positive and uplifting and and uh, Thank you. Thank you Kim for that really appreciate you and uh, you are in my thoughts and prayers and you're very inspiring so thank you very much all right let's get back to the shave here because I know not everybody watches to hear all the, the personal stuff that's less than ideal but it's you know it's kind of part of the channel me sharing what's going on and explaining why things are as they are but I tell you what the adapter is holding that blade in there nicely um, the soap really really good so we're not having any any issues today very nice smooth shave very enjoyable and again I'm thinking this vegan formula first time I've ever used it from Crown and Crane no buyer's remorse you never know when you buy a new formula you know when it goes tallow to vegan how it's going to hold up but in my head, based on my memory of using Crown and Crane, this seems just as good. Uh, again, I'd, I'd literally have to lather them side by side and get them on my face to really uh, evaluate them very closely against each other. But I have to say, you know, plenty of residual slickness here. Ease of use high. Price is great. Another winner from Crown and Crane. <laughs> If you haven't tried Crown and Crane, my advice, don't sleep on them. They have great, don't sleep on them, excuse me, great soaps at great prices. All right. That is excellent. What a shave today. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Crown and Crane Musique Nuit. It is just fantastic in my opinion. This is the vegan formula, first time I've used it. It was really, really good. The scent is great. It's based on Dolce & Gabbana, light blue. I enjoyed that a lot. It was very good indeed. We also used the Ender's Speed Razor, which I believe dates back to the 30s, and we're using Last Shadows Adapter, which can be found at HCNC if he has any right now. It worked beautifully for me once again. So thank you, Ia. This really made uh, this razor a lot of fun to use without fidgeting with it too much, so I enjoyed that a lot. We used our Yachi Aqua Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug, and we're gonna finish it out today with the fine Platinum, which we are working on. We're getting there, slowly. But surely we are getting there and I hope wherever you are today, you're having a great day. Your spirits are up and I hope all is well. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. 
Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, get your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.